Well, hello, C++ programmers. Brian Malloy here in, on um, shallow copy versus deep copy. And I hope you've watched the first part in this two-part video series about shallow copy versus deep copy. And in that, and in that video, we created this class, I believe, I hope, something like this. And what we did was um, we wrote a default constructor, conversion constructor, and then we noticed that if we don't write a constructor, we get a default copy constructor that makes a shallow copy. And that shallow copy looks something like this. And what we really want is, <coughs> excuse me, a deep copy. <coughs> excuse me, so we want to make a deep copy. And we did that when we wrote our own copy constructor that creates storage for the exact number of bytes that we need. Okay, and we, as you see, we put cat in there, so we did it this way. By the way, another way to do this, so this is obviously a copy constructor, but I can also do this, same thing. Maybe I better not talk about that for now. Let me just do it this way. Okay, so big deal. Uh, what's wrong with this class? It's still not a very good class. In fact, it's horrible. Why? Because I can do something like this. I can say B equals C. And now, what happens when we do that? Well, let's try it. Let's get rid of everything. Let's compile it. Compile's fine, but then we get our double free error. Why do we get a double free error? Because right here, I'm using assignment. All right? If I had put assignment up here, I'm sorry. If I had put assignment up here, what did it do? If I put an assignment, this is not an assignment actually. Why is this not assignment? It's not an assignment because I'm declaring three, I'm, I'm instantiating three objects, A, B, and C. And when you instantiate an object, you need a copy, you need a constructor. You have to use a constructor when you declare an object. So I'm actually declaring a struct, a constr uh, an object C using the copy constructor here. Might look like assignment, it's not. However, I am not declaring B here. It's already been declared, and I'm not defining it. I'm actually using assignment. So I'm saying take whatever's in C and stick it in B. And the problem is that I haven't written a, an assignment operator. So if I don't write one, the compiler write ones for, you, for us. And the compiler says, well, this poor dude, he can't even, or, or person, can't even write a, an assignment operator. He's so pathetic. I'll write one for the turkey, but then it doesn't know what we want it to do, so it does a shallow copy. Basically, it just takes the address that's in buff and copies it. So here's B's buff, here's C's buff. B's buff we created using, uh, let's see, the conversion constructor, which actually creates storage. There's the conversion constructor when we make storage. But then when we use assignment, when we do the assignment, let me come down here, when we do this assignment, it does a shallow copy, and all it does is copy the address that's in here into here. So now buff of C, this buffer in C has the same address that the buffer in B has, which means it actually points to the same, uh, the same heap, heap uh, allocated memory. So we both point to the same thing. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, we come down here, we delete A, no problem, because we created storage for A. We come down here and then we, I'm sorry, we really start with deleting C actually because these are on the stack. It doesn't matter, it's compiler dependent. So we delete A, we create the storage for A, we delete B, we used the conversion to constructor to, to uh, create B, no problem there. We used our copy constructor for C, we're still good to go. But now we do assignments. So actually B, it actually looks more like this. Really, B gets the address of C. So. You know, this is kind of not quite right. We really should put this down here and B look points down to C. Okay, well, that's not what we want anyway. What we actually want um, is, let me just see if I can, uh, I'm sorry, let me see if I can get, um, oh, I don't haven't done the die. I can do the die for you and make the deep copy, but let's just go ahead and write the assignment operator. Okay, so I need to write an assignment operator for this so that I can do a deep copy. How do I do it? Well, let's start up here. We want to return by reference, and we want the assignment operator, so we need the keyword operator, and we're going to do a const string ampersand, and that is the signature for our assignment operator. But let's, it's a pretty big one, so let's move it down here, and we'll put it right there. Okay, so we have string, and this is, uh, we need the scope operator to tell the compiler that it's there. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm going too fast to run it. Let me just come down here and try to explain this. 
Now we need it. Okay, so what am I saying here? Well, here's my function name, operator equal. Okay, it's the assignment operator. Where, where, to what class is this assignment operator attached? It's attached to the string class, and I indicate that using this scope operator colon colon. Okay, so I'm saying this is in there. And notice my operator less than less than is not inside string. It's actually just a global function. So I don't put, excuse me, I don't attach it to a class. And that's why there are two parameters here, one for each. Here, the, actually, the, 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 this is being in, this function is going to be invoked by B. I'll show you another way to write this so you'll see that. Okay, so do I have this? Does this look cool so far? Okay, so let's write the assignment operator. Well, first, we want to check for assignment to self. So let's say if, sorry, if uh, this equals the address of S, well, we don't want to do, we might just want to return star this because uh, we'd be in trouble. Let me show you why. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the buffer so we don't have a memory leak. And then we're going to reallocate the buffer. So we'll say buff equals new care str len of uh, s dot buff plus one for the null byte. Okay? And then we want to copy into buff whatever s has in its buff. And then I simply want to return star this. And that's it. Believe it or not, that's the overload. Let me show you that this will work first, and then we'll talk about aspects of it. So it compiles, it runs, and now we don't get a double free. Why do we not get a double free? Because we have a deep copy. You want me to show you that? So we went, we went from shallow copy to deep copy. If you want me to do it, I can go ahead and make a fool of myself and do dia. Uh, let's see. It actually is going to look like this in dia. I hope you can see that. So there's the dia diagram for it, and I just have to export this to a PNG. Let me go ahead and do, well, we won't bother with it. But anyway, in dia, what we've done is this. We've made a deep copy. So before we had a shallow copy, let me show you this. There's the shallow copy. We've now created storage for B, actually. So we're, we, uh, we actually have a deep copy. Now, how do we do it? Here we check for assignment to self. Now, why do we want to check for assignment to self? If, if I'm doing something down here, if actually somehow B and C point to the same thing, these are right after each other, so you know it doesn't look that way. But we make strange mistakes sometimes, and, then, and it's possible that we could have these uh, using pointers, for example. They could B and C could point to the same thing. We say B equals C. They already have the same thing in them. First of all, we don't want to go bother doing this. Secondly, if we delete, if B and C point to the same thing and we delete B's buffer, we've also deleted C's buffer and now we're in trouble. When we get here, we're in trouble, so we don't want to do that either. So that's why we do this check. Here we want to delete the buffer, whatever's in buffer, because we have to assume that the size of whatever is in S's buffer is larger or smaller than, than what I already had before in here. So we delete it, we create new storage. I guess we could save a step and check to see if the, if the size is the same, then we don't have to do this. But what the heck, we'll do it this way. Then we want to copy whatever is in the buffer that S has into my buffer, and then I want to return star this. Why am I going to return star this? Because I could do this. I could do that, th this and that. I'm using this and that too many times. This, that, what? Anyway, okay, so how's this work? Assignment is right associative. So it's first going to do B equals C. When it does B equals C, I want to return something. So I'm going to return a reference to B. So that when I say A equals B, then that'll work. I won't be, if this is a void function, I'm going to say A equals void. What? What does void mean? How can I assign A to void? So that wouldn't make any sense. So I want to return something to stick into A. Okay, let's see if this works now. Unfortunately, it's kind of boring, but here we have it. So we run it, or we compile it, I'm sorry, we run it, and we get three cats. How about that? Three of them. I should have made dogs. I like dogs. Well, that doesn't matter. I like cats. Hey, we like everything. Okay, so we could write a set buff, but you ought to try that. I'll do that in a subsequent video. But that's it. That's my, I just made a deep copy writing my assignment operator. I know it looks complicated, but Really, let's take a look at it. We've got to get the signature right, okay? We don't. We want to return by reference, so we can do A equals B equals C equals D equals blah, 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 right? We want to return by reference. We want to check for assignment to self, so we don't shoot ourselves in the foot right here. 
We want to delete the current buffer so that we don't have, you know, Windows 98 or anything. We want to then create storage for my new string that I'm going to stick in here. And I want to copy whatever's in S's buff into my buff. And I want to return uh, this, star this, we'll dereference it, because this is a pointer to the currently executing object. Okay, let me just kind of demystify this. We've talked about this before, but when we say A equals B, you ought to know by now because I talked about this with respect to the output operator. <clears throat> this is an infix expression. It's an infix expression, and it's also because we have the operator in the middle. It's a binary operator with two operands, B and C. Now, we, you might want to write this like this, and I can understand that B dot operate, operate, Tor equals um, C. Okay, we could write it like that. Look, okay, maybe that helps you see that I'm actually calling this assignment operator here. Why? Well, B is this, right? B is going to be this because B is the currently executing object. B is calling this function. So this is B calling function this one, that. So B is calling that. And so B is this. Have I confused you enough yet? So B is calling that function, and since it's calling that function, this points to the currently executing object, so this is that, B. <laughs> I'm having fun. I know you're not, but anyway. Okay, so there's the name of the function. There's the name of the function. There's the parameter, parameter. I don't know how do you spell it. There's the parameter. And then, I don't know. You like it better like this? I don't. I like to write it like this. B equals C. That's Well, let me convince you that, that this will do the same thing, right? This is the same thing. Let me actually, I'll clear the screen. I'll compile it. Whoa, it compiles. Run it. And of course, we didn't do the A equals B, but so A got nothing in it. Well, it's got a, a you know, the null byte. Where am I? Okay, so I could write it like that, but we don't like it like that. We're used to assignment. You love assignment. You hate initialization. You love assignment. So we like to write assignment B equals C. So that's actually kind of something that you're more used to. And so uh, I'm just trying to demystify assignment here. Get used to it. Practice writing them. Blank bail. I hope this helps. Brian Malloy, over and out. Happy programming.